everything. All right, guys, we are back in Manage Packages with NPM. We got a little bit stuck in the previous video, <clears throat> but we're back at it, and we are doing NPM tests. So let's go ahead and bring up our menu, our section menu, using how to NPM, and jump down to NPM tests. Um, last time we installed a dependency. If you're looking at the package.json, it may seem a little bit odd. Uh, so let's go ahead and pull that up. You'll see we have this scripts, test, error, no test specified, and exit one. Okay, so what it actually wants us to do is instead edit our package.json to make your script section look like this. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're gonna include, that was node and test.js. So we're gonna do a little something like this. So node test.js, okay. And then we're gonna create a file called test.js and then it's gonna to have to basically just run a single line and we're, that's what's getting called. Every, uh, pa every, um, every package, every NPM basically has to have a test file. And uh, it can do something as simple as say console.log works and uh, to make sure that everything's set up. And that's what we're gonna do right now. So is there a section where they want us to create this? I don't think so. So we'll we'll just go ahead and create a file using the touch command. Let me go ahead and zoom in a little bit. Touch, and then we're gonna create test.js. And now in test.js, we're gonna open it up and we can just console.log a value. This and obviously by now everyone should have basic JavaScript knowledge. We're gonna log out the value here. And then um, we can, let's see here, we touch, we created the value, or we created the file, we added the value. And then uh, we made the script section look like that. And now let's go ahead and run how to dash, how to NPN uh, verify. So we ran our test script. You'll see that it says works right here. And so maybe we should have done something that may have been a little bit more easily known to that this was ours. Works might be something for something else. Um, but that's basically it. So the things to take away from this quick video is how to create a file using touch and then naming it after so, and that every, um, every package will have a test file or a test that goes along with it. And uh, you may need to create that when you're using NPM. But as always guys, uh, don't forget to like, subscribe and share and support me on Patreon. It, it uh, helps me out a ton and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. Special thanks to our sponsor, Dev Mountain. Go to devmountain.com if you're interested in coding boot camps where housing is included in the tuition so you can get up and go and not have to worry about where you're gonna live. You can just go and immerse yourself fully in the experience and check them out. And a uh, special thanks to you who support me on Patreon. If you wanna make sure I keep putting out more content, Patreon's a great place to support me. But as always guys, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.